If you traveled the roads today, then you know how slick some of the spots are. Top three worst driving days to work, in my opinion. And as the temperatures drop, the condition of many roadways is only going to get worse here. This is a live look along 169 on the border of Golden Valley and Plymouth. According to MnDOT, a lot of bridge decks are icing up, so you got to be careful up there. And as you can see from MnDOT's road report map, uh, many of the roads around the state are either partially or completely covered with snow. Some areas in the purple down here are areas where travel is not advised at all. Uh, CARE 11's Devon Roming checked in with MnDOT. He joins us live along Highway 55. Hey, Devon. Well, guys, if you've been out and about over the course of the last day or so, you probably can attest to just how slippery some of the roads are across the metro area. And as you can imagine, right now, MnDOT crews are in overdrive. From rollovers to spinouts, it's been a sloppy mess across much of the metro area as winter weather hammers our region. Last night, we were getting blowing and drifting snow around the metro. And then later on in the evening, we got the sleet. Nearly 200 crews with the Minnesota Department of Transportation are out rotating through 12-hour shifts, racing against time and below freezing temps in an effort to keep you safe. And as temperatures dropped this evening, we had a little bit of refreeze, which made the roads a little bit slick. And it's that refreeze, which MnDOT communication specialist Kent Bernard says is the most challenging part of the de-icing process, even after the roadways have been pre-treated. Well, we're still using chemicals out there to, to break up the ice and melt the ice, but the problem is as the temperatures drop, the chemicals slow down and they don't do the job as well. When we get down right around zero, salt, basically your uh, calcium or your sodium chloride quits working and it, it really doesn't do much for us at that point. So if you are out and about over the next 24 to 48 hours, keep in mind, we're still seeing some slick areas around the Twin Cities metro area. Now, now, State Patrol is reporting there were at least 340 accidents on state roads today from 530 this morning to 430 this evening. So if you do have to be out and about over the course of the next day or so, just use caution and drive slowly. For now, reporting live in Golden Valley, Devon Roming, CARE 11 News. Thank you very much, Devon. Appreciate that.